friends how to visually distinguish between sand and clay you can take soil in your hand like this let me check that uh, Tom is not there because a bit earlier before recording this video I was doing something and the cameraman told me that our Tom is there in the hand okay so hopefully this time there is no that's uh, so one let me disintegrate the rock particles now how to distinguish between sand and clay if you throw the soil like this and all soil that you have thrown is very near to your feet and it has not dispersed then it means it is a clay because clay has cohesion and if you throw it like this and it has dispersed to a larger area then it means it will be a sand so this is one way to distinguish between sand and clay of course i'm talking of pure sand and pure clay second thing the soil is like this you can hold this in your hand like this and you make a sample and you make a sample with a smaller reducing the thickness if a decent length you can make okay let me show you it again this is a soil and from your hand just make thickness reducing and make a specimen so it, it is cracking if we are not able to make it with thickness reducing and make a decent length no it is cracking so that means it is a sand okay as clay has a better water holding capacity so when i am reducing the thickness a flat layer i can make without the breakage so that will be a clay now let's go to the smart board to know some more results to some more properties of clay and sand thank you uh, hi students so before going to the smart board let me tell you what i want to say that suppose this is a, this is not so soil but i am just giving example and you press it like this uh, from your hand okay make a it a ribbon like structure and see it is cracking okay if you make a ribbon like structure of decent length without a crack then it will be a clay because it can hold water but if it is cracking like this uh, then it will be a sand Hello guys, now welcome from the studio. Let us see some more differences between sand and clay. See, sand has large permeability as compared to clay because voids are big. In sand, the voids are big, so water can travel faster. But guys, void ratio is more in clays. Huh? Void ratio is more in clays and less in sand. But yes, one void if I talk about, then that is bigger in sand. Void ratio is volume of voids by volume of solid for a particular volume of solid the volume of voids is more in clay because yes they are smaller but the number of voids are so much that overall volume becomes bigger in clay one void it is lesser in clay and more in sand that's why probability is more in sand but if i talk about the volume of total voids that becomes more in clay because number of voids are so much okay now Size ranges from 4.75 to 80 mm, there it is less than 0.002 mm. It is actually size ranges from 4.75 mm to 0 0.075 mm. Okay, there it is less than 0 0.002 mm. Okay, this we can classify distinguish on the base of sieve analysis. Settlement is less in sand as the void ratio is less. Here the total volume of voids is more, so it is more settleable clay okay but settlement is never a problem in soil okay the problem in soil is differential settlement like leaning tower of pisa one side more settlement another side is less settlement overall settlement if occurs up to a significant or a permissible value it's super fine now no cohesion there is cohesion in clay as they have charge separation and here no water binding property and it has water binding property now among these four differences this only can be done in the laboratory okay permeability you can check on the lab not directly on the field without any apparatus similarly the sizes you have to done from sea wellnesses settlement you have to check it will be a time taking process so these all four differences between sand and clay you can only distinguish with the help of some apparatus or it is time consuming these two can give you result directly if you throw the soil and while throwing the soil the particles are loose they are not binding with each other each other no cohesion then they when i throw that 
all particles are we can see distinguished they are separating in the floor that will be sand else it will be a clay and if you add water then sand the water will be seepage out very quickly if you drop particular ml of water in a soil that is in your uh, wrist or here fist then that will remove very fast but in clay it has water binding property might be if you few milliliters of water if you add in 10 gram or 20 gram of soil even i compress that water is not going out because it has the water binding properties okay see clay has a flaky shape structure okay so suppose here it is minus so water is a dipole dipole na? h plus and oh minus any plus and minus is a dipole so that h plus can attract here okay it has attraction property might be some cation is adding a potassium calcium and then oh minus side the water is attacking okay or might be due to other forces hydrogen bond water is attached so clay has always the water binding property so when you compress it the water will come out but not as in sand okay so these four you need some apparatus or time for distinguish these two you can do directly okay i hope you enjoyed this session guys please share with all the friends thank you you can also join me in my telegram group civil by abhinav sir thank you thank you guys take care